I'm gonna grab them still. Yeah. yeah. These are cool. I know it. I, I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. Did you open the poster? Somebody opened it before. It's a... Oh, did you want this? People of YouTube, do I have a video for you today? I went to an estate sale and ended up scoring some amazing stuff to flip online for a profit, as well as some stuff to add to my own collection here. And if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited because it's some good stuff, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. This was a great sale, and I spent a lot of money at it. So, uh, let me show you what I got. So here we are at today's estate sale. The pictures for the sale were okay looking. It looked like they had a few things that I would be interested in, but there ended up being way more at this place than I imagined. And the first things I found were right inside the door. Look at all the things in bags, Hunter, right? I mean, if you do, just keep your bag right here. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it right up front then. Sure. All right, thanks, Ron. As you're seeing here, there was a bin full of retro video game goodness. Now, obviously, I wasn't the only one who noticed this, so there was a little bit of competition. Like this lady right here trying to reach in front of me. Don't do that. Don't be rude. Looks like she was after that Game Boy, but quickly put it back after she saw the price sticker. A lot of the games here did end up being priced up, so I didn't get everything that I saw, but there was still a good amount of them that were worth it, either for me to pick up to resell or to keep in my personal collection. I don't know. I know oh, you. Know, this sorry. guy over here, he's just shoving stuff That's in okay. Yeah. As you're seeing here, I started going through the box games, and if these were all priced at just a couple bucks a piece, like $10 and under, I probably would have grabbed everything right away. But since everything had been individually priced, I was taking my time to go through each one, and this is where experience really paid off. Because I have dealt so much in this stuff before, I had a general idea as to what a lot of this stuff was worth, so I didn't have to waste my time looking up stuff on my phone, which means I got through stuff a lot faster than some of the other people were. And out of these first couple boxes, I grabbed quite a few things. I'll start with the loose stuff. We have Mario Paint on the Super Nintendo, an N64 Game Shark, a few of these guys, these are Game Genies for various consoles, and then a whole bag of different Game Boy games, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Marble Madness, Super Mario Land, Dr. Mario, Tetris, and Castlevania Adventure. And then the last thing in that bag was a Game Shark for the PS1. I'm guessing they thought it was a Game Boy game since it's a small gray square. Now let me show you what I was even more excited about, the stuff that's complete in box. First we had some Super Nintendo games like Mickey Mouse Magical Quest, Monopoly, and Street Fighter 2, and this box for this one is minty. And then there were the NES games. DuckTales, Abadox, Vegas Dreams, Willow, Gremlins 2, always nice to find Gremlin stuff, and lastly, Godzilla, and that's not the last we'll see of him. And as I was finishing up with those first few bins, I noticed this huge box of stuff right down by my feet. Sorry, brother. Okay. I'm gonna grab them still, yeah. Now unfortunately, everything in here was incomplete. There were no games inside any of these boxes, so it was all box-only stuff or just the manuals, but there were still a few heavy hitters. Like this guy right here. This is Mystical Ninja on the NES. It's box only. And for those of you who don't know, this game goes for hundreds of dollars complete. And the box by itself, I think, is worth a couple hundred bucks. So obviously, I was stoked to see that in there along with everything else. We also had the box for Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Road Riot, Super Mario Kart. Again, this box is very, very clean, and this one will be replacing the one in my collection. Batman, Stealth ATF, TMNT, the arcade game, Marble Madness, two Sports Talk Baseballs, Sonic Not for Resale, Granada, I was hoping that game was going to be in there, but it wasn't, Altered Beast, another Altered Beast, Rambo 3, and finally X-Men on the Genesis. And then I got a whole stack of various different manuals here. I'm not going to go through all of these because that would take too long, but there's one in particular that I want to point out. There it is right there, Mega Man 5 manual only. Even though this is just the instruction booklet, this thing is going for about 100 bucks by itself over on eBay. Pretty crazy, right? And just when I thought I was finishing up with the games, this happened. Probably could have just left it all in there. Yeah, I, just, doing, yeah. I was just uh, yeah. grabbing it all. My... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, and I was like, well, might as well just get it off. It's yeah. Sitting there. I'm just gonna leave my bag up here with you. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, if you don't mind. 
Thank you very much. This was a stack of games they set aside. I guess they deemed them as the valuable ones and they were priced accordingly, but there were a couple in there I couldn't leave behind. Like this super clean Dr. Mario box right here. This thing is minty. It's definitely going to replace the one that I had in my collection. The next one up here is Monster Party right here. I've never had this one complete in box before, so this was a nice score. I did pay up for it, but since it's going to my personal collection, I don't feel too bad for it. I paid like 110 bucks just for this one alone. And then the last one here is a sleeper title, Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. I didn't realize it at first, but this is actually a pretty valuable game, and I didn't know why they had it set aside, so I did look this one up, and I saw that the cart alone was going for like 80 or 90 bucks or something like that, and I did see one sold listing for this guy for 150 bucks uh, just for the box in the cart. So that's a sleeper. If you guys see this game out in the wild, definitely pick it up. And that concludes all of the video game stuff for now at least, <laughs> but I was not done yet. This house was was awesome. It just kept on giving. Check out what I found next. Pass on the okay, ones, sure. Thank you. And then I, can I just leave my bag back here with you? Yeah, right here. Yep. Thank you. Perfect. I'm gonna get around the rest of the house. Yep. The whole house is hey. good stuff, no matter where it is. Yeah. The garage is good as in here. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice the universe sheets. That's a pretty cool one. Eddie Bauer, Legend. It's like a little Aztec print. Joseph Horn. I'm gonna drop these in my bag as well, if you don't sure. mind. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there's even another downstairs. Basement, basement. As you're seeing, I was finding stuff all over this house, but my favorite find of the entire sale, even more so than the video games, came from down in this basement. Oh yeah, look at these. Those are so cool. <laughs> there you go, there's better lighting. These are awesome. How cool are these? Two giant, I mean, I think these are like 15, 16 inches Godzilla toys from 1985. These things are just too cool. There was also the little six inch figure as well, again, from 1985. These guys aren't like super, super valuable. I think the little one goes for like 15 to 20 bucks. And I think these big guys go for around 50, but these are so cool. I mean, these are something that I'm probably not gonna sell for a while. I might try and find like a space for them back here on the wall to be in the background of the videos. Cause these are just, these are just cool, man. These are cool. I know it. I, I was thought like, that's cool. so cool. Yeah. I love that. They're, they're old. They're not. Oh, yeah. They're 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Got more to add. Sorry. Okay. Well, we didn't price those. Yeah, I'm okay. fine with whatever right. you guys okay. decide yeah. on. I'm okay. easy, so. Okay. <laughs> As I was dropping off the Godzillas at my bag, I seen something in that original game bin that caught my eye that didn't catch it originally, and that was this guy right here. It's a little adapter for the Sega Genesis, and I didn't know the value of this originally, but I did stop to look it up. So this right here is the Sega Genesis Power Base Converter, and they didn't have a price on this one. I think I ended up getting it for like four or five bucks or something like that, and it turned out to be worth like 70 or 80 if I remember right. Never hurts to double check things, sometimes it pays off. And that wasn't the only other thing that I found as I was double checking some of these rooms. Check this out. All right, let's take a second look around here. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Tupac poster, that's pretty sick. Scorpio posters, I don't see a date on it. That's pretty cool though. This vintage Tupac poster was really, really cool. Anytime I can find vintage Tupac, I am stoked about it. But I didn't end up buying this one. I actually passed it off to a buddy that you guys might recognize from a few videos back. What was it? A couple things. 
in the video games and stuff. Did you see that? Did you open the poster? Somebody opened it before. It's a Tupac one. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I looked at the other two. One was like a tropical thing, and the other one was something else. Yeah. You want the poster? You hit me up on that Harley helmet. <laughs> and you gave me, I think you gave me another poster anyways. Yeah, thanks bro. Yeah, no problem. Return um, the favor. We gotta, we gotta link up dude if uh, we can benefit from uh, getting in one and two every time. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. I haven't really linked with anyone like that here, so. Yeah, I'm totally down with you on that. In case you missed it, this is the guy from a few estate sales back who floated me a Bengals jersey and then he passed up on this $40 Harley helmet that I ended up buying and I ended up selling for some good money. So I used this opportunity to float him the Tupac poster when I showed it to him. He was really interested in it. You know, build a little karma, build a little friendship here. It's just an overall good thing to support someone who has supported you in the past. And while we were down in the basement, I decided to take one more second look at some of the toys that were around the Godzilla figures and I found a few more things. See what's in this old box of Lego. Couple little figures. Juice. I think these are Dino Riders, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, this one's Catcher's Mint. That one up. Not bad. I'll just grab all these dinosaurs. These little dinosaurs right here aren't individually worth a whole ton. They're still from the 80s, so if I lot them up, I'll still be able to make some money on them. But I couldn't believe I missed this guy originally when I found the Godzillas. Well, how did I not even notice this guy? <laughs> Big old Jurassic Park T Rex. I don't know how I missed him. Yeah, as you can see right here, this is a big boy, so I don't know how it didn't catch my eye originally. I've sold it a few times in the past. It's a 1993 T-Rex from Jurassic Park, and I think, if I remember correctly, these guys are going for right around a hundred bucks. <laughs> I don't know how, how I missed this guy. Look how big he is. How do you miss something that big? But anyways, after combing through these toys a little better and coming away with another big box, it was time to head upstairs and start to settle up with the lady. And if you notice and have a sharp eye, you'll notice something that wasn't there before right next to her. And I'll get to that in just a second. Okay. I think I'm ready to settle up. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Oh, gosh. Okay. We'll see what, see what the damage is. Yeah, let's do this. Do you, want, do you have another bag? I don't, but I can oh. set it aside and I'll just box. load it up. You want to start using this box? That would work yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you want this? It's empty. Yes. $10. Oh, that works. Okay. So, um, like this I'll correct it right here. Yeah. Six ninety one. So at the last minute, we had one more late addition to the sale, thanks to the lady running the sale, a Nintendo Entertainment System NES action set box only, and she gave it to me for ten bucks. And I gotta say, this thing is not in bad shape. I don't know if it's better than the one I have or not, but this is not a bad head box at all. And as you hopefully heard, my total was not cheap for all of the stuff that I got here, but I totally think it was worth it. I paid a total of $691 for everything that I got. All the video games, all the vintage toys, everything. I might be a little biased with that, but let me know. What do you think down low in the comments? Did I get a good deal on all this stuff or do you think I overpaid? And that, my YouTube friends, wraps up another fantastic estate sale. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this one and learned a thing or two. If you did, please go down there, smash that like button for me. It really does help me out and helps my channel grow. Also, while you're down there, if you don't mind subscribing to my channel, something like 60% of you guys are not subscribed who regularly watch my videos, and I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. But that's all for now. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.